Okay, so you can hear me okay. I can hear you okay. Um, yeah. Everything's working, and I'm re I am recording right now. <laughs> so, first off, definitely want to apologize for the snafu. This is the you are the second band that that program has jacked me over, so it is no longer in use. Oh, okay. Good I thought, reasons. I thought I had it fixed, but I guess I was wrong. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Hello. if we can, if we can, uh, let's start, and if you guys that are all there can go ahead, go ahead and go around the room and tell me who everybody is and what your spot in the band is. Okay. Let's start with Louis. Louis is the president of the band. Yeah. Uh, I'm uh, Luis Ferreira. Uh, I I am vocalist. Uh, Uh, hello, I'm Simon. I'm the bass player from Even the Night. Uh, I'm Eric Pinto and I'm the solo guitar. And I'm Ricardo Caldas. I'm the drummer of Even the Night. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. So what's uh? So you guys had practice tonight? Is that what? Is that what you understand? Yeah. 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 What song do you guys normally practice for when you're able to get together and do that? Uh, how many, do you mean how many times per week? Oh, we actually... No, I guess no. I... Like tonight, oh, how, how, how long did you practice for? Oh, how well, long? Oh. It was uh, possibly from 9.30 p.m. to 11. Yeah, maybe, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's nice and extensive. It's usually, yeah. Usually, yeah, it's usually like that. Uh, on Saturdays, we, we practice a little longer. That's cool. So what's what's been going on with you guys since I talked to you? Anything any new? Any news or anything since I talked to you guys last? Uh, just more shows to come. Yeah. Yeah, more dates. Cool. What's uh what's your what's your next upcoming date and show? Uh yeah, Saturday twenty fourth. Yeah. Yeah, we we will play an unplugged show here yeah. in the city. Then we will have the um, the contest. I think I I, I have to do that. We, uh, we were on a national contest uh, by, uh, I don't know how to say it, maybe for yeah. a trademark, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, so, uh, We will go to the, to the finals, so we are representing the national method on the scene. Yeah. And then we will have 15th, yeah, October, another one, and then on November we will have four shows in two days. And we'll, yeah. Nice. Well, ver very much luck to you in the contest. I hope you guys kick butt. <laughs> yeah, Thank we you. hope because if, if, Thank if, you. if we if we eventually won the, the contest, we could, we could play on Texas. Yeah, we lost, <laughs> but, uh, but uh, it's a little bit more impossible. Um, <laughs> we because we, we, yeah, we, we, we will play with many styles. I mean, you know, pop, rock, and there are styles that are... Yeah, probably they. they I the, can't even to, to own the the, yeah. the comments, you know? yeah, the bands on of that styles in particular will probably have more more chances to win the the contest, I guess. But it would be great to play there. Yeah. <laughs> there <it is. laughs> well, it's, yeah. Definitely. Uh, good luck to that. And the other thing I was going to mention too is since I uh, since I last talked to you, I've been playing you guys a lot on my show, and the response has just been amazing. So uh, you, you are gaining I listeners. I, I'll oh, try to. You. I try to enter the the chat, but but it not work. It not. I, I did not receive the, the email from confirmation, so I, I did not enter, enter the the chat to talk to you and you know, the viewers that are there. Oh, the, just so you know, the chat on there. You don't have to actually create a password or anything. You just just put a name in and you can just enter. You don't. Ha you can totally bypass that part. Oh, cool. So I'll try it. Yeah. So maybe. just, just you know, you could just say your name's Joe, and hit enter, <laughs> and you would, and you would enter as Joe. It's, it's that simple. You're talking about the feedback of the the person that listened to the internet. Uh, can you talk about it a little bit? Um, yeah. I mean, just it's just on the chat. You know, basically, you know, before I start playing, you guys, I'll be like. Okay, you know, I'm playing Haven Denied. These guys are from Portugal. I really, you know, I'm really, I really dig these guys. They're really cool, and I play their music. And they're like, yeah, that's really badass metal. So, yeah, <laughs> that's cool. But you know, it's a bunch of metalheads. They they don't get real in depth in their conversation. They're just like, yep, I like it. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> So, okay, so how long have you guys all been together again? Um, okay, the band, the band began, 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 began in 1999, yeah. 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 In the end, so 1999. Uh, from that formation, the only one that is actually in the band is Ricardo, the drummer. Um, then Luis uh, joined the project on... Yeah. Then I joined that before on two thousand and four and the ends. And Simon came on two thousand and five or six. Yeah. We don't have sure yeah. but then Miguel uh have have came on twenty nine. Oh, 39, no, around 2009, when we finished, when we finished, like, a, uh, the OCBOD, the record, so, the OCBOD, so, that's the formation, actually. Okay, so, okay, I, I'm totally branded. Is the singer there tonight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luis. Dude, your voice yeah. is awesome, man. Singer. Your voice is awesome. That's, that's one of the things that I really dig about you guys, I mean, I love the music, but, you, you guys have a sound and with with your vocals you just you have a sound that's not you're very unique and not you know you definitely aren't like a a, co a cookie cutter band that's what I love yeah, yeah thank you yeah uh, Louis has a, a very very unique kind of, of singing and a unique voice I think that yeah. shows in the in the in the recordings I guess yeah well and you know not to take away the rest of you guys you guys are rock too don't get me wrong because <laughs> if it wasn't for the music, he wouldn't have anything to sing to. So, yeah. So what um, what all what got you guys those you know I guess what I guess it's kind of hard because there's only like one original member, but the re you know what kind of got the band together and how you know what's kept it going and even in the current lineup, what's kept it going? No. Oh, do you mean uh, continue with the, with the band uh, for so many years, or right? Start what's yeah? What's been the, the driving force to keep the band together and keep going, even though you've changed members and things? What's the main reason is the, our our I don't know our love for music, was, and then any one of us um, play different different instruments, you know, and um, Louis. The singer, as you know, and Miguel, Miguel do the, 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 the back vocals and, and play the guitar. And for example, I, I meet Miguel on guitar lessons, you know. Then I, as I, as I, as I know, I, I invite him to, to join to join the project. They, the rest of the band, they, they approve it. But uh, we we came to the band, Luis, you know, and, and I because we can be, we can after that, yeah. Guitar was from the beginning. We were joining the band because the band has not have not uh, a structure, you know, um, members that that stay that, that were professional. On the yeah, they, they will not keep continuing the the on, on the project on you know, different scenes or different different yeah. reasons that they, they that they have to 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 abandon the project. So as as we were musicians and by contacts by friends of. You know, the band, we, we came to the band. For example, Simon came by a friend of us. Yeah. Um, I joined the band by a cousin of Luis that was from my from my school, and that was the <laughs> the, the yeah. reason that that we and, came and to basically, this project. Basically, the, the the love for music and the, the will to to do something of note on the music industry and on generally. Um, is is actually what what um, what brings us together even even though everything that happens around us and around us and even though uh, it's not financially uh, very stable or or uh, if it's existing <laughs> uh, there's no income from it or there is very little income from it and we we it's mainly for love you know. Right, and you know, with the way the music industry is these days, you definitely have to have love and passion to do it because 
it's that's kind of the the theme I get from pretty much everybody I talk to. They're like, you know, we don't make any money doing this. We just do it because we love to. So, I mean, that's yeah. that's pretty strong though to me. Is you know that you got for you guys as artists to to keep doing it even though, you know, you could probably you could go do something else and make more money, but th- that's not what it's about. Yeah, we we, we keep this since 2006. All all of us except Miguel that joined before when yeah. when Ricardo thing left the band by, by professional reasons because he was a uh, keyboard player um, but we, we all been through through this project always with with the same the same passion you know we we always have a rehearsal, rehearsal you know, and three times yeah. per week um, during this, this five years that, that we are all together you know and we only rest maybe on August that is the, the month that everyone mm-hmm. have, have vacations Vacation, yeah. But we, we are always keeping the the, the yeah. work, you know, we, we never give up and we am always to the studio with, with the same passion and uh, yeah. always trying to do new, new, new stuff and, and we believe in, in in our in our let's say quality or <laughs> I don't know, our what we, we, yeah. we, we believe in what you we believe we have something to add to to the musical world to the musical to the metal world, you know. Yeah, and you know, I totally appreciate that too because you know, I you know, even though I'm just playing you guys' music, you know, this to me it's still a, a big time-consuming project for me. You know, I don't get paid. This is all on you know, this is all out of my love for music. So it, that's why I love to play bands that are so dedicated to their music and what they do. So I just I appreciate that. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, we relate to that. <laughs> so what um. If you guys just kind of go around the room, since since we've got everybody there, what's uh, who is ever if everybody could just name like one musical influence that they had growing up that really made you think, hey, you know what, this is what I want to do. Yeah, uh, I'll say the obvious uh, on my youth, um, Dream Theater, I guess. Uh, talking about me, I started. My, my big influences are trash band, but heavy, heavy metal bands since the 80s or 90s. But actually, maybe maybe bands like uh, some metal core scene or hardcore. Or, I don't know. I, I like too many, too many, too many bands. But the main band that made me uh, want to to make a project or to get in one project, or maybe System of Down or Metallica. Yeah, the two main bands that that I have. Yeah. For me, uh, uh, yeah, the old soul, uh, many bands, but uh, the the that uh, marked me the most was Metallica. Uh, bad in the beginning, and then like all country, they make bands not a metal band. The lot band, I like a lot. Uh, and one of those with uh, the extreme, the part extreme, uh, or the, the most extreme in, in, in my my state. Uh, talk about me. Uh, uh, in my youth, uh, I listen to uh, 19th uh, Grunge, Pearl Jam, Chris Cornell, uh, Alice in Chains, Pantera. Talking about my thought. Uh, Oh. Yeah, many bands. As you say, we have many, many influences. Uh, I think that that made us a little more unique, and as you said, uh, as a band, we make the the conjugation of, of many, many styles of music. Yeah. Right, and I think I think I mentioned this the other night when I talked to a couple of you guys, but uh, you know, I, I I think that when band members, or people in a band, have a lot of different styles of influences, I think it makes better music. That's just you know me as a listener, but. Yeah, in, yeah, in, yeah, in the yeah, fact that I mean, you guys just named off, you know, many different styles of you know metal and in 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 grunge and everything, and they all kind of come together and play together. So that's awesome. Yeah, yeah we're not closed minds to to the music. <laughs> yeah, and that's on Metalhead Radio. It, you know, it doesn't matter if it's hard rock or metal or grunge. If it's good, we play it. That's kind of that's how we roll there. So, 
<laughs> music is good, that, that's yeah. not a reason to, to, to listen. You know? yeah. I think that it's, it's a good project, we will just have to, to recognize it and, and listen. If music is good, that's no reason to, yeah. to, to not the, listen. The to main it. thing should be quality, I guess. Yeah, exactly. What, um, oh, I, I got one for you. Okay, the cover of the, cover of the album is amazing. I, I definitely, I always really pick up big time on the artwork that bands use for the covers. So where did that come from? How'd that come to be? Uh, I don't know how to say it. In my English is a little bit uh, old. <laughs> Dude, your English is as good as mine. What are you talking about? <laughs> I, I'll, I'll try to say it. I think that uh, the, uh, the most part of the, the album that is not music, music it came uh, uh, and the, the writer to the, the lyrics, lyrics. lyrics. Yeah, it came by intu intuitively, you no? Know? Uh, yeah, in intuitive mode, you know. Yeah, it came like um, it was a, a thing that passes through as another thing that was uh, thought of. Yeah, yeah. Uh, everything came together. Yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. After the whole thing was made, the artwork, the cover, the the songs, the the sequence of the songs, the, the we we're not we're not the thought, themes of the lyrics. Yeah. We're not thought the the whole album as as in one piece. You know, we the the things came came uh, once after after yeah. the others. You know. And naturally, they came together, and and the, the cover it was the the last thing, you know, yeah, was uh, right. one of the last things to, to be made was something that was um, was the pinnacle, I think, because it made all sense and it almost closed the circle of the, the production, the production and the composing of this particular album. Yeah, like a mixed art composition. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, it's like the, um, yeah, the, the, the reunion of the, all the art and like the music the talk, the talking of, uh, talking with, uh, with uh, the graphics, talking by it. Uh, like yeah. we heard the music and we, we, we did a lyric that sounded right with the music. We, we wanted to pull, up the, to pull all, all the efforts together, made, made in, making one, one unique language, you know. Yeah, and, and the reason the reason I appreciate the reason I personally appreciate it and um, really look for that because it seems like it seems like metal or just music in general really for a long time you know the whole the amount of work and effort that went into a cover was pretty non-existent and it seems to be coming back and I really appreciate that the, the time and effort put into that. Yeah, uh, that's right. That's right. There was a phase in music or a stage in music in in which uh, mostly in pop. All, all the covers were the the the, the, the picture of, yeah. <laughs> of the musician. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> that was the lowest for now, of the <laughs> For nowadays, maybe the BS or the boobs of the singer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so enough. Also, if I remember from the last time we spoke, uh, Ricardo, you did all, you did like all the the recording, right? Is that, is that what I remember? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's a, he's a, a drummer and producer. Yeah, that and that's awesome for you guys to be able to have, to be able to do everything yourself like that. I mean, I can't even imagine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because our, our study, our studio is, is on Ricardo's house, you know. Right. And then we, we work all in the same place. We we have a, we have a song there, and then the, the recording we we do all that. Yeah, it's a small studio, and it has. Uh, it has been upgraded by us along uh, along the years, and nowadays it's I think it's a, a good good studio in general. Maybe for uh, other scenes to be be recorded there. Yeah, you you yeah, do not imagine like a professional studio with, with many many materials and then I don't know say uh, the little yeah, thing they have a studio you know. Uh, a beautiful drum with with all, all the good things. No, we have we have our 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 instruments and, and our our angles and legs and, and yeah, all all, all the stuff yeah. that, that we need to to record. 
but I, I think it's simple. But uh, but we we always try to to put the best quality on it, and that's from that's where it comes in the no, that's, that's <laughs> where, <laughs> where it came. From. Yeah, where where it came from. Uh, oh. Well, you know, I, and I think I uh, correct me if I'm wrong when I say this, but I guess I can appreciate that because. I mean, when you go play live, I mean, if you're using the same stuff, you're going to sound the same. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. about it, that's about it. Because, you know, there's so many bands yeah. out there that are uh, horrible live. Yeah, always the same. Yeah, 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 we have our our live stuff is our studio stuff. Some of it is, is exactly the same. And, and it, it, it ends up by... by uh, allowing us to have good quality on our concerts and on our recordings, I guess. Oh, oh, and why, before I forget, Enrique, I um, I got that album, the the live album you sent me, and it, it's really good. Yeah. I really dug yeah. it. Yeah, you like it? Yes, thank you so much. It was it was really good. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. It's, it's yeah, it's uh, another music from from the other albums. I think that you yeah you have only two from Illusion that are Illusion to Illusion to All and Deadly Memories, and then the others are from the other albums. Yeah, the our older stuff. And I will try to provide you that on the next weeks, so you listen and compare the the progress of the band through the years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that would be that'd be awesome. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so pleasure. what's that? It's our pleasure in our inter. Yeah, well, I, I I appreciate it. What um? Okay, if I was to grab your MP3 player or your CD player, whatever you're listening to your music, what would I find you listening to right now? Uh, uh, but uh, well, talk, uh personally, maybe. Yeah, personally. Oh, I'm uh, gonna. I have to throw a warning out. If anybody says Justin Bieber, the, com- the interview is over. <laughs> 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 Justin Bieber is I think we're safe. <laughs> okay, <laughs> good. Yeah, from the supermarket, and yeah, all, all people are yeah. crazy are about that. Yeah, it's, it's insane. <laughs> Did I just hear somebody say they're play they're listening to super music supermarket music? Is that what I heard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. On the contact. No, no. <laughs> yeah. A trip to, to see uh, the concert. Yeah. yeah, it's all over let's the not, place. Let, and it's, let's it's, not talk about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the horrific. <laughs> okay, on my MP3 player right now, we should find something like um, a new album from Plane of Salvation, Road Salt 2 and 1 also. Uh, the new album from Opus Heritage, and uh, and uh, the new from Doom Theater also. Very That's cool. <laughs> that was interesting. Yeah, I, I'm I'm listening to old stuff. I don't I don't get new things. I don't know. Uh, I I will I will like to to hear the same album that uh, Simon told about, but I. In this summer, oh, I don't have the time to it right now. Yeah, no, normally I, I listen to the things that I talk about. Uh, and I don't know, Lamb of God, The Pain of Salvation, for Point Free, all those things. Yeah, and loads of loads of other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, meditation, meditation music. <laughs> I listen to meditation music. <laughs> Talk about me, the same thing. Lamb of God, Pantera, uh, Alison Chains, uh, uh, Sound Garden, Pearl Jam. Jam, always. Uh, all right. uh, I, I was uh, just going to say Porcupine that. Tree, Porcupine Tree, yeah. Sorry? No, I, just, I was going to say that. Um, I was just going to tell him that me and him are best friends because he's listening to all my favorites, and then he put, mentioned Pearl Jam and ruined it. <laughs> really? You <laughs> don't like... That's, that's like our favorite band ever. <laughs> Man, I cannot stand Pearl Jam for the life of me. Oh, really? It's like the only grunge why? band. Them and Nirvana, I cannot stand them, and I don't know why. I have no good reason. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. Nirvana, maybe. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Nirvana, maybe, but, but Pearl Jam, I think. <laughs> It's uh, very, very cool. Talking about me, I like to always listen to new stuff that came from, from metal bands, essentially, but I listen to old stuff too, but I like 
recently I am really used to choose bands like Trivium, Machinel, I don't know, maybe yeah, a new album of Opa, it's uh, different stuff. Bands like Free Kitchen, that are uh, more rock. Um, I don't know, many bands, Kill Switch Engage, I like metal scene, the metal scene is the, the main music of my uh, my mp3 but I, I like also um, to hear guitar yeah you know I'm, <laughs> I'm a guitar player it's normal to to listen like Joe Satriani or Steve Vai stuff but I'm definitely like yeah but, I, but I, it's, uh, for me it's maybe the the main guitar player of feeling um, the great technique but I like to Chris Broderick stuff the, the new the, the guitar player from Megadeth was never more yeah many bands if we talk about influences and tapes we, we could talk all night long <laughs> right cool guys yeah just it, just to throw that out there my favorite band is Megadeth and I <laughs> yeah yeah right now right now in my car you'd find me listening to Volbeat Volbeat what is that? <laughs> uh, a melodic metal. I'll also I'll post a link to them guys on your on your Facebook, and you can check them out. They're pretty cool. Okay, thank you. Um, anything else you guys want to tell the Metal Huddle Radio listeners about Haven Denied? And oh, hold on, one more question. What um, okay. where did the band name Haven Denied come from? I don't know if I asked that last time. Oh, you didn't. <laughs> uh. Even was the name uh, of the project at the the the, the, the beginning guitar player. Yeah, uh, the, the first guitar player. Yeah, yeah, came came with that name. So the the yeah. project had, had a name, and, and we thought it was it was cool. So it was a, a very prof- profound name. Um, yeah. what it, what it, it has to do with music being uh, uh, a haven or oh, a haven, you know. Yeah. Um, and we were trying to, to capture that in, in the form of the name of the band. But uh, after that we discovered that uh, um, there was a, a band named Haven also, so we... we, we it was a metal band of... I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, but the name was, was taken. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we tried to put, uh, and we put something a, else. Yeah, we, we put something else that would make sense. That, and and so we came up we came up with denied yeah because because the, we, we think that our it's our even you know when we are on studio because in the beginnings uh, not now in our day, in nowadays it's more easy to play music on on I don't know on places to to do it you know it's yeah. more easy but uh, some years ago it's not uh, it wasn't easy to play live, to play live and, and to record an album was very our expensive. studio our studio is like to be even denied you know the, the place we we are always playing the music and, and we do our stuff and the, play, the, the place that was denied by some years you know because <laughs> people don't want to listen to music live or we don't have the chances or Many yeah. many things that there are. Yeah, and on a, on a more profound note, the denied was was kind of like referring to music itself as being an even night. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's very cool. Thank you. Thanks for thanks for shedding that on me. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay. So, anything else you'd like the my my metalhead radio listeners to know about you guys? Anything else we haven't talked about that you'd like them to know? Uh, the context of the band that uh, we would want to to make people know, like our website, that is www.avendenied.net. Uh, we have the, our Facebook too. Um, uh, we really enjoy talk, talk to new people, new friends, or people yeah. that, that want to know more about us or, or meet, meet our, our project and know our, our songs. Yeah, and we are we are open to to proposals from concerts, tours, yeah, shows, anything. We we just want to to make the band roll roll for all around the world, and we want to to people to to meet our music. Okay, that's cool. Um, I yeah. will this this will replay. Let me check my calendar real quick here. Just so you know, this will replay on my show on. 
this Monday. is the 26th. This next, yeah, this come this yeah, this next here, Monday. Portugal will be Tuesday, I think. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's 9 p.m. Eastern here. So yeah, what do you are you? You're what? Five hours ahead of me? Yeah, yeah. Five, five, yeah. Right. We'll be at two, two a.m. I think. Two a.m. Yep. But the other thing that I will do probably on the 28th. That's usually when I do these. Is I'll podcast this. I will. Yeah. I'll email you a link to the podcast. I'll post the podcast yeah, it's, on it's here. On the, the website. The, yep. uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah it'll be on Facebook. I'll, oh, don't worry. I'll, I'll, I will spam it everywhere. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Spencer. Can, yeah. can I just I just um, just remember the, uh, a nice story or a funny mm -hmm. story about the band? Uh, no, if you want to. Yeah, please. Um, the 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 our, our latest member, our newest member on the band, is the second, second the rhythm guitar and second vocalist, right? That's Miguel. Yeah, that's the one that is not here today. <laughs> yeah, I I remember the first time I noticed that kid. He is a little bit younger than the most of us. Uh, it was <laughs> when we we were having a concert. And it was a kid that came up the stage and and started uh, crowd surfing. <laughs> and a couple of years later, he was playing guitar. <laughs> yeah, he, he was the one, the one that that uh, was uh, that was on, on our show. And do uh, yeah. always the crowd surf. Yeah, he, he would do uh, on our shows. He would do the craziest shit ever. Just, it was just, always him. Just <laughs> impressive. Yeah, <laughs> and then he, he came to the band. <laughs> that's yeah. awesome. So he went from being in the crowd to the band. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> that, that, that's a cool story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah. All right. Well, thanks for sharing that. That's Yeah, I appreciate that. Um, okay, so I just have... I'm all out of questions and, and, and stuff, but if I could get you guys... And this is going to be really cool because I have the whole band together. Well, minus, you know, minus one guy. But you yeah, just yeah. tell him I said hello. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's probably cr crowd surfing right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. All right, so if you guys can all, I need uh, if you can make two radio tags, one for me that says, "This is Haven Denied," and you're listening to DJ Rem on MetalheadRadio.com, and then another one, the second one, and just say, "This is Haven Denied," and you're listening to MetalheadRadio.com. So if you could do those two tags for me. The one that's the generic for the radio station, I will send to all the DJs, and then they will play it before they play your music. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, let's let's, let's re remind. Uh, yeah, okay. we'll, we'll try to put it okay. together. Let let we we yeah. are even in Ivan. You are listening to MetalHeadRadio.com, and we'll make the other one. Okay. Okay. Five. Five. Hello, we are Heaven Denied, and you are listening to MetalHeadRadio.com. All right. We can try, we can try to, to do it then. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> once again, once again, because it's like, like, uh, like kids on the yeah. 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 Okay, so one, two, three. Hello, hello, hello. hello. This this is is this is we are Heaven Denied. We are, we are. My are. My my okay, three. Hello, Hello, we are Haven Denied, and, denied and you are listening to MetalHeadRadio.com. There we go. That was good. That was good? Okay. Uh, okay, and then now we'll do one with the, the same DJ thing, but stay DJ with Ram, DJ yeah. Ram, right? Yep, please. Okay, okay don't stay, uh, stay with DJ oh, Ram. No, I can already do it with him. So, DJ oh, Ram. Do you okay. prefer listen to DJ Ram or uh, or stay with G DJ Ram? Or how you do you want? To uh, I I don't really care, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Stay with However, it comes out. Okay, you are listening to DJ Ram. Yeah. Okay. In in the voice in the the yeah. Hello, we are Haven Denied, and you are listening to DJ Ram. <laughs> awesome. Hey, you know what? I just had an idea, and I don't know if you guys, if you're up for this, but do one more and do it in Portuguese for me. Oh, nice. 
Olá, nós somos o Eva e vocês estão a ouvir o DJ Ram. Ah,